Have you tried engraving yet with your Cricut Maker? We tried. We tried it on acrylic, aluminum, and, and leather. leather. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. 2020. Every 2020, you'll notice that we uh, we kept the pegboard organizing wall unit thinger. That's right. You guys voted, and you voted for us to keep it. So we did. We listened to you. We were shocked, though, because in second place was alternate sides. And uh, we didn't even give you guys that option. <laughs> but it's over there. It's just hard to move this desk, so yeah. we'll see how often we move it. <laughs> it's on wheels. It's just really heavy on carpet. This week, we're doing some engraving, but uh, not with a laser. We're going to use the Cricut because Kim says we don't need a laser engraver. Yeah, well, Garrett wants a really expensive laser engraver, and I said, you know what? We haven't even tried the engraving tool in our Cricut yet, so let's start with that first <laughs> before we dive off the deep end. So I agreed. We'll try this out. <laughs> laser engraver is not off the table yet. <laughs> so over the holiday break, I had a whole week of downtime, and I got addicted to the show The Mandalorian. And then I made Kim watch it, and Kim got addicted yeah, was good. to The Mandalorian. So I decided I wanted to do some projects that included a baby Yoda, because uh, he's baby Yoda. Yeah, that's the cutest I mean, thing ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him and that egg. Oh my god, he's adorable. And something with The Mandalorian. That whole Clan of Two thing, it got me. It got me. So uh, We're a clan of eight, but... Yeah, we're a clan of eight. You and I are clan too, babe. Yeah. We're the real clan. They're all just succubus. <laughs> this week, we're actually doing three projects. We're going to try engraving on aluminum. We're going to try some engraving on leather. And the one I'm most excited about, the whole reason I wanted a laser engraver, is acrylic. Ooh, and then we have a bonus project. I haven't even told Kim about yet. No. I wouldn't even let her see my notes. <laughs> yes, I took notes. <laughs> So what do you need me to do to prepare for that? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Go for it. We're doing it on the spot. <laughs> Pre-recorded live. <laughs> Project number one. We're going to try some aluminum. Yes, we're going to use these aluminum sheets from Cricut. They're infusible ink compatible. So we're going to engrave first and then try and sublimate over our engraving but I haven't tested that so we're winging this part yeah well we're winging the whole thing we're, <laughs> we're gonna test out engraving but we can't just engrave we got to take it to the other level go big or mess your project up that's how we do it <laughs> what do you want to do it right here I think in the middle yeah that's good all right we're going one inch down and one inch over yeah the worst thing about this is it's hard to really know where you're placing it on this thing. You really have to use the grid on design space and really have to trust that you're putting it in the correct place on the mat. Oh, and you really need that strong grip mat. I watched a lot of videos on the YouTube where their projects would slip and stuff. So we're gonna try taping it. Ribs. Yeah, good idea. That's my heat press for sublimation. All right, so I already have Baby Yoda loaded into the des design space. It's three inches. How tall is that? That is five by seven. So he's six and a half wide, four and a quarter tall. Oh, is he? Really? He's mm -hmm. wider? Man, those are some big ears. <laughs> those are big ears. And he's got his wingspan is taller, is bigger than he is tall. So I'm just going to change my line type to engrave. Hit make it. Looking good. So I'm going to move him down on my mat right here in the prepare page. We're going to move him down one inch over one inch. Remember to move your little wheels out of the way. So the aluminum or the acrylic, whatever you put in there, doesn't mess up the wheels.
Oh, he looks kind of creepy. He looks adorable still. There's no way you're really going to have to eclipse yeah, it. Yeah, it's like an outline of the outline. But here's where the tricky part comes in. Now we're going to try to sublimate on top of it where that outline is. Bam. Is we good? Yep. Alright, we got you Baby Yoda all cut out on the infusible inks. It's easier to flip it upside down and do it that way. Otherwise the paper gets all crazy on you. So I have it all cut out on my infusible ink and now I'm going to weed it. All right, there's the cutout of our baby Yoda and the infusible inks. Now we're gonna try to line it up over the engraving. Yes, that, we'll see. First try. Wow. No, it's not. All right, that's what we got. We got the Baby Yoda cut out in a fusible ink over top of the engraving. 385 for 40 seconds. Let's see what it, see what it does. And action. Woo, uh-oh, it moved. Should I take it off now? Don't wait, don't. Okay. Mm, it smells burnt. Oh my god, that is so bad. I can't wait to lift it up. <laughs> Pardon the language, but uh, that does look good. So, one more now. Woo, hop, 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 hop. Oh, give me another minute. All right, hot off the presses. Yes. It looks, it looks really cool. But I don't know if you can really tell if it's engraved now that we put the sublimation on it. Yeah. Or the infusable inks. I kind of thought it would like. Yeah, thought make it would make it pop. It pop. Yes. But now it just looks like Baby it's Yoda. Hidden. On the yeah. Hmm. Still cute. Project number two. We're gonna try engraving on leather. So I purchased this leather cuff cuff bracelet. Cuff cuff bracelet. Cuff cuff. Cuff cuff. Is that German? Okay, so we purchased this leather cuff bracelet. It's plain, so I think I'm going to engrave my daughter's name on it. I asked her what she wanted on it. It was her name. So that's what we're going to do. The first thing we did was take off this little eyelet here. So it will go through the cricket. 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 And so that these little scoring wheels don't mar the leather, I'm going to move it in one inch and down one inch. Or maybe I'll leave it up at the top, just in one inch. Yeah. So I'll have more room on the mat. Should we tape it? I think we should. Okay, let's tape it. Leather! Does it say leather? Yeah, I'd say it's that tooling leather. Or Two millimeter? Do you think it's two millimeter? Probably. 1.6? Probably two millimeter. Two millimeter. What is this? Is this like two millimeter? All right, make it happen. Let's see. Hope I have it lined up right. Oh, I think you're on. I'm on the two. No, that's right. Two. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure it's lined up right. <laughs> See how quick this operates. Yes. So I noticed that. One layer, the text is thin, 
So what I did was copy the text multiple times and stack them on top of each other so that it engraves multiple times over the same letter. Did that make sense? Yeah. So you got it? So it'll be deeper, right? That's the plan. Uh, that tube's stronger uh, yeah, than I thought. <laughs> Alright, that's what we got. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Looks sharp. Looks very, uh... Let's get it closer. Very sharp. Looks good. Project number three! We're gonna try some acrylic. We're gonna engrave on the acrylic and then put it in one of these LED bases. Pretty cool. But the base, here's the problem. I ordered the base on Amazon and it suggested these to go with it. So I was like, oh, those must obviously fit it. Do not. So we're gonna have to, <laughs> we're gonna have to cut them down. So I got this little scoring tool. It's supposed to be able to cut through this acrylic. Score it a couple of times. Snap it, you know the deal. You know the drill. Bam, done. Well, let me Peel make sure I've got my sizing correct. That's three, that's over three inches. Yeah, it's like three inches under a quarter. Oh, I should make it a little bit smaller. 3.1. Let's go three. Go three, even three. Okay. I'll keep us within the limits. Thick acrylic, two millimeter. Done. Do I have to hit that? No. Come on, acrylic. You want this little brush? Let's see. I won't brush it on the mat so it doesn't end up over the mat. Yeah, good idea, good thinking, good thinking. So I married you. <laughs> all right, that's what we got. You can't tell that. Oh, well, you can't it. see anything yet. Let me uh, see if you can get. We got my base. Base. Oh, it's a little wide. It's still a little wide. Mm. Get it in there. Get it in there, base. All right, it's still a little wide. I gotta trim it down again. Damn it. Here, use uh, like these little. Do you have these little clippers here? No. Nope. Yeah, oh no 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 no! You're gonna cut a finger off. Oh, I'm good. You got a good way to do it. Sideways. Ah! Oh, they cracked the whole thing. Damn it. Damn, Damn it. it. Darn it. Darn it, I mean. Uh -huh. Alright. Well, that's what it's supposed to look like. I guess we'll be recutting. Yeah, we'll be recutting that one. Mm -hmm. Which kind of. Well, hey, it fits in there now. Look at that. You can barely tell. <laughs> you can barely tell. Oh. Alright, well, that works. That works. I really like how it came out on the acrylic. It did pretty good. It did better than I thought it would do. I got a little crazy and cracked it, but we'll fix that. We'll fix that. All right, are you guys ready for my bonus project? I don't know if this has ever been attempted before, but I'm going to try to do the infusible inks on the acrylic and then engrave it. In theory, it seems like it would work. Yeah. So I hear you. All right, let's see if it works. All right. I'm going to try taping it to this board. Oh. I'm going to tape it down.
Yeah, that didn't stay down. Yeah. Alright. 385 for 40 seconds. I feel like it's gonna melt it. Three, two, one, go! Trying to make sure it doesn't curl up. I know how that plastic lights to curl. Looks good, looks good. Oh, but it didn't sound ah. right. All right, so the infusible inks didn't really work. Didn't really work on the, uh, the acrylic, but that's okay. I'm gonna go through a coat of black spray paint on it real quick, and we'll try it anyway. Back with plan B. I threw some uh, black spray paint on it. Now we're gonna try to engrave it. So... I think it needs it. I don't know, we'll find out. Going in tapeless. Okay. Why do you listen to me? Bam! That's what we got so far, but check it out. I'll stick it in this ginger. Ooh, can you see it? I can't tell. Maybe you gotta turn the lights off. I can see it on this side. Mm-hmm. Alright, can you can see, see it? it? You can't see it. We have too many lights on. A bam! Bonus project saved! Have you done anything with your Cricut and the engraving? Have you used a little tool? What have you made? Have you done anything different? We've only seen aluminum, leather, and acrylic. I'd love to see some pictures of your projects because this is our first attempt, so yeah. I'd love to see something else cool done with it. Yeah, show me something cool. If you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and tick that bell because we do something, build something, or make something every week. Every Friday the video drops. Hit that like button. Mm -hmm. See you next week.